stage two now. All rocket types need two basic ingredients, fuel and oxidizer, so that the fuel can burn. Solid fuel rockets are the most common. Here a powdered mixture of solid fuel and oxidizer is packed into a casing. Once it's ignited, the mixture rapidly combusts, propelling the rocket forward. It's very simple and safe until it's lit, but has one drawback. It's not easy to turn off. In a liquid rocket, liquid oxidizer and fuel are kept in separate tanks. These are then pumped into a combustion chamber where they react violently with each other, sending hot gases out of the specially shaped nozzle. The rate at which the liquids are pumped can be varied to alter the amount of thrust, and it can even be shut off altogether. But if these liquids accidentally made contact outside of the combustion chamber, they could cause an explosion. The third type of rocket uses elements of both other systems. The oxidizer is stored separately, and the fuel forms a solid lining on the inside of the rocket tube. In Bloodhound, the oxidizer is high test peroxide, or HTP. It is pumped through a silver plated catalyst, which causes it to decompose releasing very hot steam and oxygen. This is hot enough to ignite the fuel itself and create thrust. It's a fairly safe system as stopping the flow of oxidizer will stop the rocket, and the fuel is a harmless rubber mixture. Our resident rocket expert has built a small hybrid rocket which we can run in the workshop. It uses a perspex tube as the fuel so that we can see what goes on inside. As you can see, this is just a stick of plastic, and I guess the worst thing that could happen is you could drop it on your toe. So, we'll ignite the hybrid on a count of five, four, three, two, one, go. Although the motor we'll be using on Bloodhound will be quite different in terms of size and oxidizer, in fact it'll be hydrogen peroxide instead of oxygen that we've used today, it will also use a slightly different fuel that's based on rubber instead of acrylic and obviously it'll generate a great deal more thrust but the principles are exactly the same and in fact the safety of it should also be almost identical which again is very very important for our vehicle where we have Andy Green driving it and he'll want to be able to shut off that rocket motor at any point that he deems necessary. <laughs> 